Welcome back to the Fab Forms. Ty's in the shop again today. He was gracious enough to come down and help me out. So we're back working on this thing. And a couple things I want to do. Obviously, you've seen in the last video, uh, got the rear kind of tidied up. I want to get the inside clean so I can get everything primered just the way this one is. May fill some holes and stuff on the firewall. But I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this bumper cover. And behind these things, especially on these older cars, there's a really heavy bumper in here. Gonna pull that out, make a two bumper, a little bending, a little welding. Stay tuned. Inside there. All right, so we cut the bumper off. Uh, we want to, you know, obviously weight's an issue on this thing. So we're trying to figure out what we want to do as far as these go. And, you know, originally I was thinking we'd make a plate and just do one piece of chrome molly. But I think instead of making plates for this, which would add more weight, I think we're just going to bend the chrome molly, notch it, kind of mark it, and then cut this whole flange off and then just TIG weld it around each side. Ty says he wants to TIG weld on this thing, so. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, we just gotta figure out the depth now to kind of get really close to the bumper. Who knows, this thing may end up with like a parachute mat on it at some point. So we're gonna be able to use it for that. Yeah, so now we just gotta figure out how much bend we need. Gonna use my little jig here. Should help us out, maybe. Anyway, we'll see. Does this thing ever hit overload or can you Shot it. Um, it will, yeah, right there is it. It's back up. Yeah, it's at zero now. I mean, this thing needs to be level, otherwise, it's not going to matter. Yeah, you know. Uh, Let's see on the car. So we're pulling the piece off. Well, I guess it doesn't yeah, matter It's pretty close to me. Oh, on this side. I got that. Oh. The well, angle. Off. That's because of the like... twist of the tube, maybe? All right, so we got we got the piece made, but before we weld it on, we want to kind of do a weight comparison, since this whole build is weight, weight kind of weight like, related. Yeah, weight related. Is. Got the stock bumper over there, plus the tabs we cut off. So if you look, we've shortened these tabs on the back. Mm -hmm. So those material, the material we cut off, we basically threw it in that. We got this. What do you think, Ty? I think this weighs 21 pounds. That's 21 pounds. I think this is 21 pounds. I think it's less. You think it's less? I think it's less than that. Less. What about this one? This one? Tabs included. I think... 
I think this is 55 pounds. 55? Yeah. So I think he's got the rear section dialed. I think it's probably 55 pounds-ish. Let's see. Um, well, maybe not even that much. I don't know. It's so hard to judge, it's hard but it's close. It's probably close, closer to that number. I think this piece is more like, like 10, 10 to 12 pounds. So let's find out. We got the scale out here. We're gonna put these things on the scale and see how much, see how much weight difference we got. All right, let's see what this is. The piece we made. Oh, 6.4 pounds. Damn. Told you. That's Chrome light. Molly's light, man. That's light. <laughs> 6.4 and you said 20? I said, I said 21 pounds. Damn. So six, six and a half. That must be weak. We're probably gonna be off on this one too, but we'll see. Uh, but we, we both right. kind of, we both kind of said 55-ish. Yeah. That'd be 50 pounds loss if that's the case. I'm wanting to go back to like 40 now. 33. So we're just, we're just uh, we're over on sauce. everything. <laughs> but it's okay, because we're at least um, the same on both. Yeah. So there you go, 33 and six, six. pounds. Basically what, 27 Seven. pounds lost Seven. right off the back. Well, I think the fabrication on this thing is getting really close to being done. Obviously the front stuff's finished. Got the back bar done. So I think now what I wanna do is it's supposed to be pretty nice today. I'm gonna take it outside and uh, pressure wash this bad boy. Just try to get it clean, it's real dirty. Just kind of get it as clean as I possibly can. And I'm by myself, so hopefully this doesn't turn into a big fiasco. All right, so it is pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with it. Blasted everything. I mean, there's still a couple of things I'll have to try and clean up on my own, but I mean, for the most part, I got what I wanted done, done. So now I just gotta clean up all this undercoat that's left so I can prime all this and paint it same thing with the firewall here on the inside firewall on the outside uh, probably do the jams maybe <laughs> probably go ahead and start coating some of this stuff so it doesn't rust because like the strut towers are still bare but yeah man there was like tons of nastiness all in here and it's all nice and clean now so i think that's gonna be it for this one got it well one step closer i guess back bars in nice and clean keep working on it Try not to make, you know, another mess. 
So anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son. Mm -hmm.